So as we read the domain, we, we again just want to remind you that domain is going to be read left to right. That domain will be let read left to right. So as we start with this graph, as we start with this graph, we are reading it from the left. Okay. So the arrow that you see here, remember that domain, the arrow for the domain is going to the left. So that domain piece will take you to negative infinity. For the range piece, that arrow that you see is going up, and so that's positive infinity. Anytime it's going to the left, it's negative infinity for the domain. Anytime it's going up, it's positive infinity for the range. But again, two totally different pieces there. All right. So as I read the domain, I read it from left to right. So it's from negative infinity to what? Well, how far right does it go? Okay. It goes to negative three. Okay. And, and this is where I'll see a lot of people just kind of snap out negative infinity to infinity. Jesus. Okay. And then I'll say, well, why is it infinity? And, and this is what I get. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be a jackass. I'm being serious. What I get is, I don't know. That's what you put for the other ones. <laughs> right? But I want you to remember that, that all the problems are different. In order to get in positive infinity, you have to have an arrow. That's going to the right. There's no arrow over here. It stops. It ends right there. That's it. Now, if it, if it hit this point and continued on, well, now we got something that we can say positive infinity for. But if all it does is hit this point and then just quit, we say negative infinity to negative 3. Now, what's the range? Well, the lowest point on the graph is right here. That's the lowest point. That lowest point is zero. What's the highest point? Infinity. But it's bracketed, right? What's bracketed? It's zero. Yeah, I bracketed it. Right. <laughs> I, I did. I mean, it's clearly, clearly. <laughs> clearly. For domain, not always. Both of those arrows are going in the same direction. Okay. Uh, the question was, is it safe to assume that if you have two arrows and it's negative infinity to infinity always? I would say most of the time, yes, but I would not just assume that. Start from the bottom. It'd be the name of a great song, Start from the Bottom. All right. Now, here we got an arrow. Oh. Here we got an arrow, right? For the domain, is that arrow going right or left? For the domain, it's going to the right, yes? So that puts that, that arrow for the domain to be positive infinity. But now for the range, what's that arrow going to be? The range, that arrow means negative infinity. And, and here's the thing. Honestly, this is the first time in my life I've ever dealt with both domain and range with the arrow at the same time, and I kind of like it, actually. Okay? Because it, it kind of drives home the ideas that we're, we're working on. It's not bad if you see an arrow and then you just write domain and range and, and put infinities on it, negative infinities, just so you can keep it straight. All right? Um... And so, for the domain, it's positive infinity. But where does it start at? It starts at 2. And it goes to positive infinity. What's the range? It starts at negative infinity. It's down at negative infinity. And it goes up to 5. We cool on that? Everybody good? Here, here, we got this arrow. For the domain, that arrow means negative infinity, right? For the range, that arrow means positive infinity. Again, 
infinities in these cases are, are two totally different locations. Even though we're saying the same word for both, negative infinity because it's going on the left side and this is where all the negative numbers are. Positive infinity because it's going up and that's where all the positive numbers are. Okay, so even though it's one arrow, it's going in two unique um, locations. Over here, this arrow for the domain, it's positive infinity because it's going to the right. For the range, it's positive infinity. It's going to the right. So what's the domain? Negative infinity to infinity. All right. Your infinities don't have to look very good. Mine don't look very good either. Some of you are like, well, yours look better than mine, dude. Mine look like two, like snowman fell over. <laughs> like Frosty got drunk. But it, it's okay. If you just draw two circles side by side, I'll figure it out. All right. What's the range? Negative three is the lowest point on the graph. Does everybody see that? That's the lowest point. Okay. Negative three, positive infinity. Notice that we're putting a bracket on the negative three because that point's included. All right. We got two arrows, yes? Let's talk about it. Domain. The domain for this arrow is what? Negative infinity, right? Because it's going left. The range on that arrow would be positive infinity. The domain for this arrow is positive infinity, and the range for this arrow is positive infinity. Okay. So what's the domain? Negative infinity to positive infinity. What's the range? 4 to positive infinity. Okay. If you didn't get a chance to work the backside, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up for you and give you all the answers, okay? Now, here's the bottom line. Most students, most students that I've ever come in contact with, just because I show you something, doesn't mean you can re reproduce it two days later. Like, I wish that were the case, where you could just watch it and go like this, hmm, that's cool. So if you haven't done the back side, maybe tonight or tomorrow, fire up YouTube, come to the video, and when you get to the part where I'm about ready to start working, press pause. Try it yourself, and then hit play, and then I'll, I'll walk you through it. Okay? Uh, I'm just going to give you the answers because we're running out of time. The domain for this, it starts here. It is zero to infinity. It starts at zero and it goes to the right. The range is negative five to infinity. It starts down at negative five and it goes up. The domain for this one, this arrow, is going to the left, so that's negative infinity. It's going down, so that's negative infinity. So the domain is negative infinity to zero. The range is negative infinity to seven. Shit, that's a parenthesis, not a bracket. For this one, The domain, negative infinity to 4. The range is negative 4 to infinity. Okay, again, this arrow is going left for the domain, so that's negative infinity. It's going up for the range, so that's positive infinity. Both of these arrows are going down. For the domain, it's negative infinity because it's on the left side. For the domain, this one is positive infinity because it's on the right side. The range, they're both negative infinity. 
All right, so the domain is negative infinity to infinity, and the range is negative infinity up to whatever that point is, which I think is three. All right, I'll post this video on YouTube. It'll be on the uh, MAC 1105 uh, sheet. All right, we're out of time. We'll try to do it next time. Until then, take care of yourself and each other.